guys, welcome back to another video. Today, as I showed you in the, I just showed you, this is the actual tutorial of it. Okay, so let's get started. So we're going to start up with this, um, we're going to start off with the top tier, like that. So what we're going to do, we're going to take a piece like this, what we're going to do, everything apart like so I'm gonna take one like this take a round brick like that we already got that and you take a piece like this slip the shadow piece like that and you have that okay it's very sunny today um good day to go outside you take a Great piece like this. Just do that. Okay, so we got that part done. Now we're gonna move on to the flag. There's some tricky pieces with the flag. There's only one actually, but I, I went digging through. Okay, so we're gonna start off with this piece. It needs to be like that. It can't be like that. It needs to flip the other way. It needs to be like this, and then it can hang on the flag like that. Okay. So I'm going to take a 3 by 1, just attach it, that red one, like that. Take a white 1 by 1 stud, just do that, it looks blue already. And take a 1 by 1 blue, and attach it like that. And now you got your flag. So attach it, and pull it down. And you got your top tier. Okay, let's move on to going down. Okay, so this part. This part's a little bit tricky. So, so guys. Okay, so we're going to start off with a piece. Bumps on it. Okay, you can use another brick. I only have this that I could actually find. Just attach it, oops, attach it, just like that. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, okay. So, now we got that. Now, we're going to need to do four of these. So, you can pause the video. So, we're going to four of these. Okay, so we're going to take a piece like this. And then... We're going to need a lot of these. We're going to need eight in total. And then, then you take a grill piece, attach it on like that. Take this one, put it on the bottom. Just like that, with all the other ones. So do four of those. So you can pause the video right now. I'll wait a little bit. But yeah. Okay. So from now on, what we're going to do is we're going to... This is very certain. We need to place this on the bottom, not the top. The bottom. Okay. Now just do that all around. Doesn't matter which way you place them for right now. Um, okay. So you have that here. And then for this part, you're going to need um, four of these clear pieces and just stick it on the bottom just like that okay now just bring them up so yeah. okay so I'm gonna just leave those put that to the side now we're gonna start off with the actual base of it okay so this part's a little bit trickier Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to make four of these, oops, two plates, and then one grill, so f make four of those. If you do use actual bricks, like like I did for some of them, you're going to need ones with holes. Just saying. Ones with holes. See? 
and then they can properly stick on. But I just use uh, some ones with a jumper plate. That's what I used. Doesn't work as well, but whatever. It works. Okay. So make four of those. I already made four, so I'll get noise. Just attach them to each of one of each one of them. If I'm going too fast, you can always pause the video. Of course. And then we have this part. You're going to take three. You can use round or square. I I didn't have enough, so three round and you're, you're going to need five little studs, just so. So that's what you're going to need, okay? So we're going to take a, it doesn't matter what color, it needs to be black, light gray, uh, or um, black, light gray, or dark gray. I have dark gray, you're not going to really see it, but it does matter what color you're using. Like that, okay? So what we're going to do, you're just going to place it on studs like that and you got that part you're gonna take all of your fours and attach them on just like that That's all you're gonna do okay so now I'm gonna talk about the base because the base is a bit trickier I'm it is an an eight by eight plate I in black and then it needs to be black on the inside too. You you can't really see it on camera, but you can see it in real life. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna add some one one by one, another one by one, one all in the corners. Add one of those, smooth tile, another smooth tile like that, a those two smooth smooth tiles. One with bump in the middle, and two um, four by two smooth tiles, and then you got your base done. And oh, and then you just you can use whatever um, smooth tiles you want, but I prefer I prefer black. And then you just line it with black, however you want. I use some eight by ones um, and and two sixes, a four and two. One six right there. Okay, so you got your base done. You can always pause the video. And now we're going to move on to actually putting this together. Okay, so what you're going to do is you are going to take your piece like that and just attach it on like that. Okay, so these parts are a bit tricky. So you're going to need four of these. These are the rest of the four of the eight. I need another grill and just attach it on like that. Like this one, just like that. Make four of those. You can always pause the video. I'm just going to wait a little. Okay, so I think you're done. So you're just, it, it can't be like this. It needs to be turned and then pushed down. Four of those. Starting to look like the, the Eiffel Tower. Pretty exciting. That's the base of it. And that's what holds it up. These don't do any support. That bottom piece right there. Okay? Okay. So now we're going to take this part that we built. And we're actually going to need to put it just like that. It needs to be turned. And push all those down. Tight as you can. It's most realistic. Okay, you're going to take your top tier, place it on, and you got your rightful tower. Pretty cool, huh? 360. Okay. Bye-bye. Guys. Bye-bye, guys. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and I will be doing a sneak peek on an M&M &M machine that actually works. I will do a demo in a bit. Okay, bye-bye. I will also do a tutorial.